small town, uh, and drugs are a problem. Um, I, th I think it's like meth and heroin. I don't know. It, it changes a lot, and it's really hard for me to keep up. Um, and despite that, everyone hates the addicts. Um, and I didn't learn that. Um, you know, that's what, I, that's, what, that's what I was taught. And I didn't learn that from any book or any class. Um, I learned that from the way people talk about everybody else. Um, like, did you hear Brandon's back on drugs again? He got into a fight. He almost killed a guy. He doesn't want to go back into rehab. Are you serious? What embarrassment. Or, she's pregnant again? She probably just wants money. Be that habit. It's all she wants. Um, but the first and the only person who ever told me that addiction is a disease was my mom. I still remember when she told me that. And honestly, I didn't really believe her when she first told me that. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit why. Um, I saw that cycle of addiction um, in my family, mainly on my mother's side. Uh, my grandfather was an alcoholic. Nobody talks about it at all, but everybody's crazy traumatized. Um, my aunt, the felon, uh, she's been uh, struggling with substance, substance abuse since, I think, high school. Um, she has gotten into fights. She's, she's an experience. Um, and then there's my cousin, Tia. Um, her mom is the aunt I just spoke of, and her dad has a criminal history. Don't have enough time to get into this evening. Um, so genetically, she did not hit the jackpot. Um, her parents pretty much abandoned her um, due to their addiction. Uh, I think when she was about four, left her with my grandparents, um, and they raised her for most of their life. So. They had to sacrifice being grandparents and had to be parents again. Um, and we grew up really close. She, Tia was 19, so she's four years younger than me. Um, my sister, Mallory, was three years younger. So we were, we were really, really close. Um, we grew up, we did all the same things. Um, we got the same toys for Christmas. We played with the same toys. We watched Shrek, I think, 500 times one summer. Um, and there was one summer we pretty much lived together my grandma and my mom were up in Columbus with my grandpa um, while he was getting chemo uh, for his cancer. And he later died that summer. And Tatum was like a sister. But I say was because of what's happened in the past few years. Um, I think she started taking drugs. Sounds really lame. Um, she started using something, um, maybe around 16. I wasn't, not sure. I was in college and I wasn't home. And then she proceeded to follow her mother's example. Um, she damaged her property. Um, she abused my grandma. Um, gas lit her constantly. Um, stole things from her. Um, manipulated her in buying her, I think, five iPhones, um, two cars. Tatum has a nicer car than me um, and a nicer phone. Um, and it's had more than me. Um, and it may sound like we didn't want to help my grandma, but we tried. Um, and she was alone, remember, my grandpa was dead. Um, and then it just, it, everything just seemed to escalate from there. Um, she, um, one time she attacked my great uncle, my grandma's brother, um, scratching him in the face, um, screaming at him. Um, my mom said it looked like she was on meth, because um, that's how her mom looked when she was high on meth. Um, and she sent my uncle to the, the hospital. They thought he had a heart attack. Um, and he was okay. It was just a, a scare. But um, he actually charged her with elder abuse, which was hilarious, because I never thought that that man would say he was old. Um, <laughs> <laughs> never thought that. Um, and she's attempted suicide twice and bragged about the attention she got from it, um, bragged about how it was in the psych unit. Um, and around one of those times, she was diagnosed with um, borderline personality disorder. And I didn't even have to study borderline for class. I just looked for my cousin in the prompt, <laughs> got it right every time. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it sucked a lot. Um, and right now she's probably
probably on the phone screaming at my grandma, um, demanding money, wanting to be let in the house, wanting the security code to my grandma's house. Um, and my grandma will pick up the phone every single time and give her money every single time. Um, and I so badly want to just be able to generalize these experiences and just say that every person that uses drugs is bad. I, we would be so much easier if I could just do that. And that's what I did for a long time. But you can't do that. It, it, as much as it, it is tempting to do that, it's so much simpler, you, you can't. Um, and in reality, my mom was always right. Don't tell her I said that. Um, but she, she was. Addiction is a disease, and it does not matter what, how it started. It doesn't matter if it was their fault that they started. It doesn't matter what they've done um, due to the disease. It matters that they're not disposable, and no one is. Um, and that's something I have to remind myself every time that I'm talking with somebody who's dealing with substance abuse, or even when we're talking about addiction in class, I have to be hyper aware of my biases and my feelings because I know that if I'm not, I'm going to fall right back to that hateful, discriminatory thought process every single time. Um, but yeah, we just have to be aware of our biases. And I'm trying to be aware of mine. <laughs> <laughs>